Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastriani. I'm Ian Butterfield. And today we're doing something a little different in that we're not really looking at a game per se, but uh, more of a hardware accessory. It's the Connect. <laughs> not quite, but we are going to Virtual be. Virtual Boy. <laughs> we're going to be checking out the Game Boy camera, which I probably don't have to tell people is for Game Boy. Really? Yeah, no, right? Jeez, I thought it was for the Sega Genesis. I know, I know. I can see how you'd be confused. Huh. But uh, yeah, yeah, Game Boy Camera is an interesting accessory. It was known as the Pocket Camera in Japan, uh, possibly to uh, line up with the Game Boy Pocket. I don't know. It came out in 98, so I feel like it came out not long or not lo around the same time as uh, the Game Boy Color. I believe that also came out in 98. Uh, Though this is uh, I can't say off the top of my head, no. but... I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, but I'm not sure. I'm but. pretty sure the second generation of Pokemon games came out in the Game Boy Color. Hmm. And I believe the second generation of games came out before 2000. See, what I want to say, though, I feel like, you know, Pokemon came out in 98. And I feel like the Game Boy Color came out around Did the same time. Did it come out in 98, or was it brought into America in 98? And America is what I should say. To specify, I meant Pokemon came out in America in 98. Because I remember uh, they had a, a rushed production cycle on the second games. Yeah. Which, weirdly enough, still creates the favorite generation of, like, everybody. One time that ever worked. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the stars align. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, Gen 1, the Gen 2 games were probably around 1999 2000. Yeah. So the Game Boy Color would have been just around the corner. Yeah. So I definitely feel... I, 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 I want to say 98 is when Game Boy Color came out, but I don't remember off the top of my head, and it wasn't really what I was looking at while preparing for the episode, so Especially I'm not the, sure. I think Gen 3 came out in 2003. Anyhow, before we get distracted, uh, though, speaking of uh, years, this, uh, the prototype was actually created in 96 by a Nintendo engineer named Masato Kuwahara. Right, so Kuwahara was originally like, hey, I got this idea for a camera that connects to the Game Boy, and people were like, eh, eh, that doesn't sound great. He wasn't getting a lot of getting a lot of traction. And then you take a phone and you duct tape it to it, and now you have a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically. <laughs> yeah, but it turns out uh, uh, he was going around trying trying to get somebody to be excited about his uh, idea. Uh, he ran uh, into uh, Hirokazu Tanaka, who, aka Hip Tanaka, who people may know is uh, a legendary Nintendo composer. Not like, Captain Panaka, who was no, no. the defender of uh, Padme Amidala yeah. while she was a queen. Yes, but he did, uh, you know, he did the music for Metroid, Kid Icarus, and something that I know you've heard, the soundtrack for the Pokemon anime. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I rewatched a bunch of it, and a lot of it's actually adapted from the games. Which That's I kind true. of, yeah. I actually really enjoyed that as I was rewatching it because I became, you know, I really like the music from the games, mm. and then rewatching it, like there's this scene where they're on the bicycle and. Do 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 is actually what's playing in the background. I was like, oh, yeah. But I think you know, you have to hit Tanaka, of course, as someone who was with Nintendo for many years. So uh, apparently, he was working on a similar project, kind of from the software side. So by joining forces, they were finally able to get uh, get this project to move forward. Uh, it's, it's funny, like uh, Gore is talking about how he did like all the wiring and the circuitry for the prototype himself. So he got came but with like really messy looking <laughs> wires and everything. And uh, I guess for the there was an initial presentation that they showed to Hiroshi Yamauchi, of course, uh, the late president of Nintendo that was in charge at the time. Uh, he was the immediate predecessor of uh, Satoru Iwata. And of course, uh, it his family that that uh, founded Nintendo. But uh, for Before the Before it even sold video games. Yeah, for, exactly. For that presentation, uh, I guess uh, Hip Tanaka was saying that he drew all the images and uh, programmed the prototype himself. A lot of go-getters in the early yep. days of video games. Yep. Though, of course, you know, the final version has like a whole art team and things like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but uh, I, I don't have too much on it. A uh, couple other things I did manage to track down. Um, there may or may not have been a special edition that was given away by Korokoro Comic. Apparently, it's listed on the Japanese Wikipedia page, but they don't list any uh, they don't list any sources, so I, I couldn't find any pictures of the thing. 
But the Japanese version of the camera does have some hidden images that uh, aren't normally accessible that you can, you can get with like GameShark codes and the like. So that particular version is um, Schrodinger's Game Boy camera. Yes. It may or may not exist. Yes, but there is there is some there's like some stamps and uh, you know, uh, the the game actually has like some uh, built-in pictures that you can look at in the gallery, and some of the content is from Koro Koro Comics. Mm. So there's evidence of some kind of collaboration with them in the Japanese version, which you might know as the current uh, way to find leaks about new Pokemon games. Yes, Koro Koro. Yes, as we mentioned in our Pokemon episode, uh, Koro Koro Comics is what helped Pokemon become as popular as it is in Japan. And they're still intertwined today, which I think is kind of a cool thing, actually. Because, yeah. um, you know, a lot of times stuff, when they, uh, you know, companies starting out, cooperating, hmm. and then, you know, one gets really big, and the other one will just fade away or something. You know, yeah. I think it's really cool that they actually have... Still done that. Yep. That's still the best way to find out new information about Pokemon games until they put out a trailer. Hmm. But there is one other thing I did find out is uh, there was a special edition that was released in the U.S., a gold edition that was uh, z- kind of Zelda-flavored. Uh, ah. Basically, it, it, it replaced some of the, uh, the built-in graphics with uh, more Zelda stuff. Nice. So, like, you know, fewer Pokemon, more Zelda. So on and so forth, you know. And then, unfortunately, that was about all I can find. Uh, but I think now we're going to try and... Uh, it's going to be interesting trying to get the, the camera lens pointed at us. But uh, the game has mini games and stuff, so we'll take a look at that. And, of course, I've owned this for some time, so I have quite a few pictures already taken, and we'll, we'll take a look at it. Let's do the thing. Yep. Power on! Okay, so this whole thing is actually kind of strange. Oh yes, uh, actually I should mention, uh, guess who's in charge of uh, Creatures Incorporated nowadays? At least last I checked, it was Hip Tanaka. So he's, he's very involved in Pokemon. Okay, already funny Easter egg. I can hold up, Mario dances faster. Hold down, Mario dances slower. It's like a Chuck E. Cheese nightmare. It is, it's a little weird. This this whole experience is it's kind of strange. The newest enemy in Freddy Fe- in Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. So we can shoot, view, and play. Um, I'm going to view first because I don't. I'm not sure how many. Uh, wow. I'm not sure how many pictures I have on this. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's it's kind of weird. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, so these are all very uh, very fuzzy. All right, so it looks like I do have some uh, space left, so we can uh, we, we well, can I attempt mean, to take a picture. It's not exactly an HD camera. No. We're not exactly in the, the Giga Pixels here. Yeah. Oh, there's a picture of my cousin. I added a little sweat drop with the stamp tool because that's the thing you can do. Yeah, so you, you can you can you can draw on it. You can add stamps. Uh, well, you maybe. can apparently frame him for something. Yes, exactly. You can, uh, yeah, here's something I should point out. Uh, around the same uh, time, they actually kind of developed them together. There's a Game Boy printer. I think we've mentioned the game. Have we mentioned the Game Boy printer before? I don't remember. Uh, but if I had a Game Boy printer. I'm the, I'm the exact wrong person to ask about that, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if I had a Game Boy printer, we would actually be able to print out images from the Game Boy camera. Actually, people have uh, found ways to use that to uh, allow you to... Uh, get the pictures off of this onto uh, a computer. Interesting. Yeah, there's a there's a device you can get now that uh, that will let you. Uh... Okay, that's me. We're gonna I love, save that one for later. I love how it has that intense 1990s like everything has to like all the words have to be shaking. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so intense. Yeah. There are various video effects you can do, so you can combine a bunch of stuff. Uh, I th- looks like I have my, used to have my beard thicker. Old, old glasses, look at that. Uh, I did extreme close-up of my eye for some reason. I don't know. I'm not a photographer. Leave me alone. Oh, it's a cat. Yeah, that cat's no longer with us. Oh. oh. Poor guy got cancer. 
Uh, I, I feel like I probably used something to distort this picture, because I don't think I could actually do a face like that. Uh, there's a mirroring thing. You can see I've used the mirror here to uh, mirror this picture. And that's, uh, that's about all the pictures I have on this already, but I will keep going to this side because there's the bee gallery. The bee gallery are... It's a gallery of bees. Yes, exactly. But these are uh, included pictures that are already on the, on the camera, and you can unlock like them by doing static? various things. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with that. Uh, but we got whatever this thing is supposed to be. We got a doge. Doge. This is Dalmatian, but there's only one, not 101. Nope. We got some pocket monsters. Hey, this, that's a thing I know. Yeah, yeah. Got, got to gotta catch them all. And I guess that's all I have right now. You you do various things in the, the mini games and such. You're taking so many pictures, deleting so many pictures, and they will unlock additional pictures for you. you got a beautiful, sky. what I assume is a blue sky. Nothing but blue sky. I mean, that's, that's uh, I mean, ah, it's safe to say that this was, uh, ah, this was done on ah, Earth. Ah, and Earth generally has uh, has blue skies, so you know. Uh, this this is interesting. This menu is kind of patterned after uh, uh, cabinet art for uh, Donkey Kong arcade game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I want to show off though is the animation. Animation. Yes. Uh, because I did do this previously, so boom, I'm throwing a fireball, and then I'm kind of exhausted from from using up all my key. I was speaking to Dragon Ball at the time. I wanted to do more of a, like a Kamehameha thing, but I had to hold the camera with my other hand, so. So it's the one-handed Kamehameha yeah. from Gohan. Yes, exactly, yes. I just killed Cell. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> and reached Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so uh, probably not gonna bother getting into how you um, put those together, but yeah, draw off the animation there. Uh, there's, I don't know if I ever actually did anything with this. But uh, the hotspot thing lets you uh, touch, like you can set spots on the pictures and have them lead to other pictures. I don't think I ever actually set that up though, so that's not, probably not gonna work. Yeah, so you figure around and you can click and you set the hotspot somewhere and you go to them. You're like, they'll lead to another picture. So you can actually kind of um, create your own little mini adventure game. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I, not, I don't recall how you set that, so I... So, uh, I'm gonna say, um, let's go ahead and see if we can shoot a picture with this. What? Uh, yeah, you got yourself your little, uh, your little, uh, RPG menu going here. Uh, Jupiter is actually the name of a corporation that helped with the programming. I guess they, uh chipped in. So check, so I can check my camera roll and see how many pictures I have. This is actually a lot faster than going in the album. Yeah. But as you can see, I got a bunch of blanks. So that's good. It means I have space. The final frontier. Yes. Uh, we're actually going to just quick look at... This is weird. Oh. Yeah, this is what happens when you select a Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know what magic does. Magic, I'm guessing, is yeah, special trick lenses. You can do panoramas on that. That's actually cool. Uh, I've already done this, so we're not going to do it right now, but a game face lets you take a picture of your face, which you can use for the mini games. Who are you running from? Yes. So when we take out the mini games in a minute, um, it will be my face, and it'll probably be weird. But uh, this whole thing is out. Oh, we got a self timer and time lapse, so that's fine. I am the man. Hmm. Uh, I like to, I don't know, he kind of looks like Discount Lando Calrissian. Yeah, he's trying to, I think he's trying to be like a Yakuza or something like that, is where they're going with that. But anyways, uh, honestly, we're just going to, let's just go ahead and shoot a picture. Whoa. Oh, it's looking super blown out. Can I, let's, just the contrast, let's see. Uh, oh, it's kind of neat now, actually. Whoa. Yeah, we're getting blown out by that studio light. It is, it is destroying the picture. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if we can actually 
Sierra. So see if you can get in the shot. Maybe black out the studio light. No! Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty Wait, cool, actually. Hold on. I'm trying to get it just okay. right. Yeah. And of course, we're looking at the screen instead of at the camera. So fortunately, there's not enough detail for you to tell we're looking away. Nice. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and save it. <laughs> we're gonna mess with it because now, now that we have this picture, we can mess with it a little. So let's see. That's funny because it's like black and white, yeah. But like you're almost covered entirely in black, and I'm almost entirely. I I look like some sort of god. Because of the studio light. Yes. So we can we can add frames to it. I don't want to be framed for anything. Yeah, yeah. Mario. Mario. In the picture frame. Promise. Yes. These are also, I mean, there have been a lot of changes from the Japanese version. Uh, they switched around some of the frames and whether the stamps you have. Uh, let's see which ones I have here. I don't think you have to unlock these, but... Uh... Actually, you know, I kind of like the idea of us being on the standard definition television. So let's let's add that frame to uh, oh uh, did that not go in or yes there you go frame uh, we can paint on it we can do stamps are there Pokemon stamps you know I kind of like this one so I'm not actually going to put a stamp on but we'll let's take a look at what stamps are available I um, I'm not sure how you change them. I I, I uh, bumpers yeah it wasn't let me do it uh, let's. Try switching to view. Ah. Uh, stamp. Ah, there we go. I had to go all the way to the bottom for some reason. So we're not going to actually put any of these on because, again, I, I just love how it turned out with the, with the light highlighting you, and I kind of don't want to vandalize it. But we'll stick out what our options are here. See, what we got to do is when you go to edit this episode. Yeah rip this as a picture right out of it and post it up to the yeah. Facebook and the Tumblr as the teaser Yeah, that we're going to do an episode I was on, thinking about doing it. that, yeah. I think that's likely. But we've got all kind of various stuff. You can get, put, like, googly eyes on people. Those you get eyebrows big are nowhere eyebrows. near as intense as my natural eyebrows. Weird noses. Uh, that one looks kind of looks like it's bleeding and it's kind of messed up. I don't know what's uh, going on with that. No, it's uh, it's an inflamed and pocked. Yeah. It's so it's an alcoholic nose. Yeah. We got uh, we got. Uh, Gosh, you see a lot of those working at Packies. We got some uh, we got some fangs. For those who aren't from the northeast of America, uh, a package store is a liquor store. We call them package stores because I don't know Google it. I'm not I'm not going to explain. Yeah, I honestly right don't even know. You got, uh, I'm not even sure what that is. I think that's supposed to be a scar or something. Got oh, some it looks zippers. like a sound wave. Hmm, sound wave superior. What? <laughs> I was making a reference to the Transformers movie. Oh, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, sound wave superior. Structure content inferior. I think it was, a, I, Constructor content, he was insulting. I don't even remember. It's no, well, for me no. Too. well, he had uh, all the tapes. Yes. But in the movie, when uh, when uh, Megatron is dying, yeah. they're having an argument about who's going to replace him, and he's like, Soundwave Superior. And then there was the Constructicons, yeah. who were like five bots that Voltron yes. together. Yes, and he told them they were inferior, so, you know, they got a big argument. Dude, Soundwave, you turn into a freaking boombox. Yep, yep. With musical notes. But, you know, we, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we also have the... Hey, look, it's the OG dog filter on Snapchat. Uh-huh. Oh. Bulbasaur! Okay, so we got some pictures we can look at. We got like a fox ears and a cake. Put Pokemon and... in it. Mm -hmm. Naked angels are making me kind of uncomfortable. Uh, ears, flowers, stuff like that. You know, a little, little paw. It looks more like a dog paw. I don't know. Antennae. Your ghost. Yeah, generic, generic pictures. Fish. Let's do this quick. Uh, next pick. We got our pocket monsters. There we go. Uh, the Japanese version Pikachu. actually has a uh, uh, has a Chansey, that's uh, that's wow that is like I don't even know if that's blue sprites. Those looked like red and green sprites. Yeah, 
But the funny thing is, I was about to say about the Chansey that's in the Japanese version, it's actually the, uh, the Sprite from uh, Gold and Silver. <laughs> because you know how long those were in development. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were like half developed just as they were making the first one because they yeah. made, they took a bunch of those and put them in there. And uh, of course we got letters and a bunch of punctuation. Uh, and a cell phone. A cell phone for some reason. And I'm just going to try to find it. Here's an umlaut in case you, uh, you know, have, it, have, it, have it, a heavy metal band. Yep. Uh, or you need to uh, distinguish yourself from the brand of Jello. Yes, yes. We got some, we got some faces, numbers, various punctuation. If, you know, a internet was around then, so maybe you want to put your email on it. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Another block of uh, a, C, letters. B, D, uh, X, Y, Z. Pretty much the same thing. Another font. I'm not even going to bother. Oh, we got some, uh, jet. yes, we got, uh, this is actually, these are numbers right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wow, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it gets nine, complicated ten. after four. Yes, it does. That's why I could never learn the, I could never learn the numbers. Or, you know, if, if I want to show off a little, uh, ichi, ni, san, yon, go, roku, nana, hachi, I can, ju. I can count in Korean. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and now we're off of numbers, uh, we got some other stuff. Uh, I think that's like day. House? Uh, could be. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Uh, get these right. This one, I believe, is fire. Well, uh, you, I think, water, I tree, think, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think that is fire because uh, when you yeah. use fire blast in Pokemon, yeah, you get that symbol. it shoots yeah. that out. Yeah. It's been a while. I knew. I used to know Long a couple of characters. Uh, that one's person. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Yes, exactly. Uh, but anyway, you got to be, uh, Oh, wait, wait. Go back up. New Crash Bandicoot, get Bandicoot confirmed. There you go. So we have yeah, various uh, characters that I, I don't remember the reason. Uh, I think that is woman. Uh, that is X Men. Possibly father, if I'm remembering correctly. It's it's uh, been a while. I didn't really keep this up. I should have. Because I, I I recognize some of these as, as characters I used to know. Like up, we got up and down. I think these are like left and right. I thought that's the start of a hangman game. Yeah, no. Well, you know, you string them up. Come on. Yeah. That's, that's how that works. Uh, aliens. Uh, there you go. That's Italian plumbers. Uh, this is actually, I think, uh, that Christmas is actually tree. that is actually muscle. That is, uh, I know that character because it is on Kenny Command's forehead because you know he's muscle man and so he's got the character for muscle on his forehead. I'll take your word for it. Yes, he's he's an, he started off as an Ultraman parody that uh, got into pro wrestling because I guess that's what the people who wrote it liked. Uh, that is the character for evil, if I'm recognizing it correctly. Uh, I guess more well, it's, it's some random symbols. So there's a ton of stuff you can put on your pictures, and that's that. But we're not gonna do that because again, I like I like this. I like this picture. It's, it's nice. It came out well. I didn't want to back all the way out there. There we go. So, you know, you can paint, you can draw on it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not actually going to do that. But we have uh, various different pens. It's not like they're a multiple color. You so. can color on it. Yeah. Well, you have four colors. Uh, White. You can adjust the speed of your... Uh, light gray, yeah. dark gray, black. Pretty much. And we already did frames and comments. Uh, okay, so I can... Uh, First. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you actually need to put your gender in there. Uh, it actually keeps track of how many pictures you receive from each gender, and that's one of the ways you unlock the pictures in the B gallery. Okay. Yeah. It's weird. So I think I'd be able to write something here. Yeah. You, comment you, about the picture. You got to comment. You write know. first. Yeah. First uh, person. It's not letting me do anything else, though, so I don't know. Yeah. Maybe that's just telling me uh, where, where the picture came from and everything, you know? And uh, Mike Wazowski's here. Yeah, exactly. So there we go. There's a fairly there good There you go. You got to use that as the teaser for this episode. Yes, I think wow, that I will. Wow, wow, wow. So weird. So that's that's pretty much a uh, well, let's look play something. at the video. Let's check out the uh, mini games. So interestingly enough, you start out with this, and you can shoot one of those three to get one of the other three mini games, or you can just you know do the. Uh, so, the, standard so, shooting so game. the games don't actually involve the camera. Uh, they do. We'll, we'll see that in a minute. Uh, fun fact about this, though, you see it. It's, 
uh, Space Fever 2. Uh, there was actually a Space Fever 1. Space Fever 1 was a um, Space Invaders clone that Nintendo did in the early 80s. Is uh, it possibly me or, the late 70s. Is it, well, you probably wouldn't know this, but is it me or does the ship looks like, look like the, uh, the symbol for a beast in the universe in the uh, Pokemon games yeah. circa Gold Silver? But as you can see, look, there's an actual picture. And I think the, the final boss is your game face. Ah. Uh, but the, the question mark one uh, doesn't appear until you score 20,000 points in this game. So we'll go ahead and you do know, this. Um, oh, no. I, okay, there we go. You can, when you run into a Pokemon, hmm. then you can go in your Pokedex and see where it resides. Yes. So you can go there. Right. And the it shows like a little beast face. And it looked like oh, the okay. beast face. Uh, this down. one, I believe, requires some mashing. Would you like sure. to try it? Sure. So there's your A button. There's your B button. Ah, bleh. Yeah, go ahead and do the uh, the question mark. I think that is my game face that I've already prepared. And by prepared, I mean like did 20 ah. years ago when I when I bought this thing. So what? A tap of A to run? Yep. And uh, you jump with the B button. There you go. With the up button. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure what the B button does then. Maybe it's to get you more air? Yeah, so I think you have to you have to race the bird and some other animal. Yeah, there's tortoise. All right. Oh, watch out! He's slow and steady. Oh no! It's um, it's, it's, a, it's a, mole. a mole. Yes, that's right. I remember seeing that. So yeah, Woo! there's one weird mini game down. Uh, go ahead and uh, oh, I can take it all the way out. Uh, do you want to try the D? No, try the ball one. Oh, you're doing the DJ. Okay, that's fine. Make your own beats as the DJ. Yeah, so you're the musician, so see if you can figure this out. Go ahead, and I, I, I'm not too worried about it. So I think you can press select to, uh, yeah, no, don't back out yet. Yeah, I think you can press select to, uh, yeah. Holy change stuff. crap. So this is actually a pretty, uh, pretty detailed uh DJ thing, so we're probably not gonna be able to get into it too much, but you can, you can select notes and place them, and uh, you kind of have yourself a little mini like tracker. Wow. So that's uh, that's actually pretty impressive that it's there. And then when you back out of that, hey, you know, yeah, careful, you're turning off the Game Boy Color palette, or Game Boy Super Game Boy palette is the way I was trying to say. Why should I be careful? Well, like I would like it to not flash to the default palette. Um, I don't know, epilepsy warning, leave me alone. Yeah, I think the gray one looks better. So you can adjust the tempo. And honestly, we've got the volume turned down, so we can't really hear what we're doing. And you're oh, going man. into the Super Game Boy. Which... What did I do? Uh, all right. Yes, go back to the default palette. Stop that. And then and hit the triggers together again. Now hit X to go back to the default palette. Okay, okay, there we go. And we're having trouble with this, so I guess we should probably back out because who knows what kind of auditory abomination we've been creating. Don't worry about saving them. You can back out of that. I don't like that I send you back to the other way. And the last PLA. one is ball. So go ahead and try that. Ball is life. Yes. So this is basically um, you have to make sure your hands are under the ball. And uh, I didn't want to say that it's plural because I, I feared somebody would, so, would extract that out of context. So it's Brick Breaker without breaking any bricks. This is actually a Game & Watch game. Uh, so basically your game face, or one of the default ones if you haven't set one up, is replacing uh, the head of Mr. Game & Watch. This is mildly entertaining, actually. Yes. Yeah, so this is basically a little LCD game. But you can play it with your own face, or in this case, my face, because it's, you know, my Game Boy camera, and I, I'm the one that set up the game face. This is actually weirdly intense. Nice. <laughs> is that these are the kind of games that I could only play for so long, like I would eventually just get annoyed. And well, yeah, but even if I was winning, like I would eventually hit a point where it's like, oh, I can't do it anymore. 
See, I actually completely forgot you can actually invert the, invert the picture while you're taking it, too. So it's, there's all kinds of weird stuff in this game. Lots of tiny little Easter eggs. Interesting. Yeah, there are other error screens that you can get if you do certain things. So there's stuff that shows up on the, uh, on the printer screen and stuff that we're not even going to see because I'm not going to bother going in there because I don't have a Game Boy printer. And even if I did, the Super Game Boy doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a, a link cable port, so we wouldn't be able to use it. Anyway. What? what oh, is it, is it just playing itself? I guess. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyhow, Game Boy camera. Yeah. Huh. Pretty neat. Nifty. And there you go. I mean, it's a pretty neat device at the time. You have to consider that this is before everybody's phone had a camera. This is before, like, digital cameras were a yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, this was around uh, very early for digital cameras. Uh, some of the articles I saw uh, said that at the time, it had the Guinness World Record for uh, smallest digital camera. Though it's kind of hard to uh, verify that. I don't think Guinness has a searchable database of records that have been broken. <laughs> you know? Why? That seems like something they should totally have. Yeah, I don't like know. Like, you should be able to look up the record by year. Mm, I wonder if you can. Maybe I just, I just messed up and didn't do it. Like, you look up the record by, like, what it was in, like, 1999. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I, uh, I was considering trying to find... I'm pretty sure I have an old edition of a Guinness Book World Record, so I was going to try and find it, but I just didn't have the time. Well, if you find it... You can put the subtitle with the fact right here. I could. Like, if I can verify it, perhaps I will. Uh, but, you know, it, it, anyhow, it's like you, you get yourself, I consume, this thing came out like 50 bucks. I, I was able to find, like, uh, at least on the Internet Archive, like Nintendo's old webpage for it. it like, wow. suggested MSRP $49.99. So, considering how expensive a digital camera would have been at that time, for what terrible quality you would have gotten... Yeah, that's actually still surprisingly cheap for that yeah. kind of, that add-on. A lot of people really like the aesthetic too. There are, there are people who would like deliberately take pictures with Game Boy camera. I mean, I, I mentioned it briefly. Someone actually recently, a couple of years back, came up with a device that'll let you just dump all the pictures onto an SD card, so you can use them on your computer. Uh, a few years back, Jeremy Parrish uh, took his Game Boy camera to E3 to take pictures. Yeah, to put on, uh, to, you know, the company is like E3 covered. Wow. So he's got like pictures of like Miyamoto and stuff and then the Game Boy camera. It's like, it's... it's I'm really sure someone like Miyamoto was like, oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm sure the Nintendo was very, very... I, I, actually, I don't remember if you got Miyamoto specifically, but you know, who figures at, at uh, E3, they were taking like, yeah. hey, you got a Game Boy camera, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll post for that. So, you know, he, he's been someone actually, back in uh, January 2017, he left his uh, position as editor-in-chief of uh, US Gamer to focus on Retronauts full-time. So you know, retro gaming has been his thing for a while, so it, it kind of fit into his aesthetic. Yeah. So that, that, was, that was fun. And it's, so there's a lot of like, nostalgia for it. It's got like, lots of weird Easter eggs and things. Yeah. So it's definitely a you unique project. From? It's funny, it's like one of the things I found, you know, where they were talking about the Game Boy camera was uh, a GDC talk from uh, a designer of the camera, Hardware, whose his name is, is flown right out of my head because he's not That's someone a weird I hear name. about a lot. Yes. Uh, he, he was also uh, in charge of DSi. Huh. And if you'll recall, the DSi includes two cameras, you know, the front-facing camera and the, uh, yeah. and the rear-facing camera so you can, you know, take pictures of yourself. Yeah. So it's kind of funny that he ended up doing two products with uh, based around camera. I mean, nowadays it's obviously every is everybody's got a smartphone. Even if you got a feature phone, you probably your, has a camera. Your 3DS has cameras. Your on 3DS there. has a camera. So I mean, unless you're a professional photographer, you might not even own a dedicated camera anymore. Or if you just like that kind of thing, you yeah. I mean. It. I still feel like having an actual camera is a little better because they tend to have better lens, zoom lenses and things like that. But uh, I mean, for oh. as an example, all the uh, all the pictures for the uh, cattle cards I take with the digital camera, not with like my cell phone camera. 
But like with the mods they're coming out with for phones these days, yeah. they're, they're gonna you're gonna basically have like a camera thing that you plop your phone in, and yeah. it just like. Whoosh. I mean, honestly, with with uh, the way they're improving the cameras that are built in, it's, it's gonna get to a point where like unless you're a professional photographer and you need really to take really good pictures, you're probably not gonna need to have a camera. You can just use your phone. My phone shoots HD video, yeah, like 1080p, yeah, and it has like a 4K resolution. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and it's an old. People well, have shot movies on iPhones. Yeah. <laughs> at, uh, at the time, though, this, this is kind of a prison. I don't want to say it invented the selfie, but since it does have the uh, the lens, you can turn around to face it yourself. You can take selfies with a Game Boy camera. So Nintendo was ahead of the curve there. Yeah. Yep. A lot of people like the aesthetic. Uh, I mean, there have been uh, apps released that will simulate a Game Boy camera, and of course now there's a new device that lets you get the the pictures off and onto an SD card, so you can easily use them. Or you can shoot game footage and then just pull it from there. Yeah, you can do that. That's the thing that's uh, entirely mm, possible. Geez, yeah. I wonder if we could do that. We could we, not at all. Yeah. It might be possible. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it's a neat bit of hardware, and I thought it would be fun to take a look at. Yeah. And do something a little different. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, if you uh, feel like this episode painted a pretty picture for you, make sure you give us a like. If you want to catch future episodes in which we probably aren't reviewing a camera, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I've been Dan Mastriani. You can catch me on Twitter at, at NewTypeCola. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at ENG Butterfield, inventive, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find the show at RetroGameCNCT or facebook.com forward slash RetroGameConnect or RetroGameConnect.tumblr.com. As usual, if you put it all together, it will blow up your computer. Yeah. Um, let us know what you thought of the Game Boy camera mm -hmm. and any other games we might have played. Let us know if there are any games you'd like us to play. If we can get our hands on them, we might just play them. We might just taunt you with them. Who knows? Just post a picture on our official Twitter. It's like, yes, we do have this game. No, we're not playing it. <laughs> uh, we probably won't do that. But one thing we definitely want you to do is make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect. Click. It's an older camera. Polaroid. Yeah, yeah, I got you. They, bring that, they brought that back. Yeah. <laughs>